All right, I'm proud of this uh, football team for the effort that they gave today. They gave a lot of effort. They uh, fought. Uh, they, they uh, you know, they prepared themselves this week, and uh, we just we just didn't make enough plays to, to win a football game. And we we left a lot of points out there on the field today. 8:27 left. You guys get the ball. You're up a touchdown. You're in a situation to finally finish, and it didn't happen. How frustrating is it that same thing kind of repeated itself? We had there were a lot of opportunities before that. You know. I mean, there, there, we had the opportunities in the first half to win the football game right then and put the game away, and we, uh, we failed to do it. So uh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating for everybody in that locker room. You know, they're the guys that are doing it. They're the guys that are working their butt off every day. They're the ones that are, that are buying in and doing it, and uh, I've got to find a way to show them to get, a, get over that hump. Hey, what you played really well today for y'all. Uh, what were your thoughts on his performance against Who? Kate Ford? Yeah, you know, Kate did a nice job for a true freshman. I thought he threw the ball around well. I mean, he uh, – Took care of the ball. He took some hits out there today, and uh, for the most part, put the ball where it should go. What's the immediate gut feeling right now that the season's over? Um, do you wish you could play another week? Is it frustration, or are you happy to have it over? No, I'm not happy by any means. You know, uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm hurting just like every one of those players down there. They, they, uh, they just left it all out on the field and came up short again, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think everybody everybody down there, every coach, everybody that's involved in this program is hurt. What changes the second half? What did you guys do differently to get your offense going? Or was it just a matter of better execution? Just made routine plays. You know, we, we missed so many routine plays in the first half that uh, we didn't really do anything differently. I mean, everything that we called was open in the first half. So. You know, all we had to do was catch the football, throw it around a little bit, and uh, just throw it and catch. What was your reaction to what happened in the end zone at the end? What? I mean, uh, the fight, the scuffle. There was no fight. There were, not to my knowledge. What would you call it? I don't know. Their team celebrating and our team celebrating. Larry, how do you think today's outcome will affect your future, at Carolina? I don't know. We'll find out. What was your team celebrating? My team wasn't celebrating. Okay. Their team was celebrating, all right, in our end zone. That's what was happening. But there, was, there wasn't any fight to my knowledge. Are you going to his question, have you given any thought to the possibility that this might be your, your last game? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I plan on being here. Anything else? Coach, this was another game, and you talked about it before um, during the week, where you guys were very, very close and just kind of tough at the end. What did you tell your team as far as you know their resolve to come back and fight and still just? Well, I told them, I told them it's my responsibility to put them in a position to win. I got to find a, I got to find a way to do a better job of that, you know. And uh, you know, we got to put the right guys on the field at the right time that can make the plays that are presented before. Them. You know, we're not asking for them to do anything superhuman. Just make them the routine plays. That's all we need to do. And when we do that. We'll be a really good football team. Michael Carter, Jordan Brown, Antonio Williams all down. Javante stood up today. Had a few runs where he was just seniors trucking guys over. What did you see out of him? I mean, the, the, the things that we've seen from him all year, I mean, it was unfortunate that the other three guys went down. Uh, but Javante stepped in, and he ran hard. He, you know, he's a, he's a great kid, runs with low pad level, and he, you know, he's going to get every ounce out of everything. He's, he's violent when he runs. He finishes his runs. You know, uh, you, you very seldom see him go backwards on a run. He's always going to get something out of it. I know you say in the present, but now that the season is over, do you look back and see how close you guys were and how many games this one series is Virginia Tech and a bunch of them? I mean, sure. Do you think about that and how frustrating and how close you came to having oh, yeah. that season? Yeah, I think about it all the time. I think about it all the time, and I'll continue to think about it all the time. And that's what will drive me to be better in the future. Does that make this season more difficult than last year when all the injuries hit so early and kind of derailed things before you really got going? I hadn't really compared it to last year. It's been frustrating enough this year, you know, so uh, I hadn't really sat back and looked at it that way. But it's, it's frustrating enough that, uh, you know, felt like that there were a bunch of games that we could have won. If you could describe the season in a word or a few words, what would you describe it as? A word or a few words. Uh, frustration. How about that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.